Hello everyone and welcome to this tips and tricks video. Today's topic is circle segments meal. There are four types of these meals in S3. For this video, we will see the barrel meal, which is similar to the oval meal. First, click on tooling tab in the ribbon. Click on adaptive item and select a tool holder. Then click open and click on OK. Now we will mount barrel meal on this holder. In the general tab, I give a name to my tool, barrel mill. Then I set the control point. I could add a custom control point, but for this example, I keep it simple and I select the tip as control point. Then I directly browse to the cutter tab. In this tab, you can set all the cutter properties of a barrel tool. I select barrel for the cutter shape. And as you can see, all the modifications are dynamically displayed in machine view. Then I will set the tool diameter to 11 mm and arc radius to 50 mm. I set tip radius to 2 mm and tip diameter to 4 mm. I keep the value of the arc cutting length and overall cutting length to the same volume, I don't modify them. And I click on OK. Now that I've created this tool, I will compare it to a usual ball mill tool. So let's have a look to the surface state of this spiral finishing cycle. This 5-axis cycle is designed for blade machining. I run the comparison and set the tolerance to 0.05 mm. As you can see, there are remaining blue areas. This means we are out of the 0.05 mm tolerance. If we change the current ball mill tool by a barrel tool, and recalculate the tool pass, the surface state is mainly green, which means it is smoother. Therefore, these tools are really good to reduce the cycle time while keeping the same surface state. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and do not forget to follow Esprit on the social networks. Last, stay tuned for next tips and tricks.